Hello my soccer universe. It is Halloween and I thought it's time for a scary video. Now, not that, not that scary, but it's about how scary good replicas um, counterfeits have actually become. And this is one that I fell into a trap and I want to show you how close the real deal and the um, counterfeit are when you look at it on a picture. Uh, it is almost you cannot tell. Uh, I'm wearing my new Lusk jersey and the video is about the other jersey I got for my birthday. This Milan jersey, which this is the real deal. And I got it actually in summer. I saw it for 15 bucks on a local web page. And I got this one here. And you already see the packaging. Uh, I want to show you. This is a counterfeit jersey. And I'll show you in a second why. But when you see just the packaging, this one and this one, I mean, there's almost no difference. Uh, it really looks the part. The devil is in the details. First of all, the packaging is already a little bit of a giveaway. Look, look at this. I mean, it looks Puma. It looks official. Uh, then it says here. Um, made in turkey and nothing and it is opening on top other than that it's all right however if i look at the original the packaging that this one came in the uh, real one it's a much plainer bag much much plainer bag maybe let's move the light there is you see a puma logo here and there uh in white so the printing is all all on white so you cannot really see it and most importantly it's um tape the back tapes on the top this one it's like a ziplock almost on top so that is one thing to watch out for but uh you know packaging can vary i understand this one, the counterfeit came with tags, and now let's compare it. I'll take this one out. I actually tried to repackage it the exact same way I found it, because it is such a... There are so many similarities. So this here is the counterfeit. This is the real deal. Now, as soon as I unpacked it, it was almost dead certain to me that this is a counterfeit. And the reason was the material. This is a really thick, but not very breathable material. It's very plastic-like. Um, not a material that I typically like yeah, uh, to wear, but it's not bad. If I look at the Milan crest here, I mean, this is the, it's, it's a cloth crest where when I said to you this one here, this is a plastic one. It goes has a different sound to it. Counterfeit. So this is a cloth crest. But ah, they are so close. Look at the stars. I mean, there you can see a very slight difference. We have here the real deal. Here is the counterfeit. Yeah. So you see that they are different in size, but there's very 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 much very little difference what's even more confusing is that um well i thought at first this might be a giveaway look at the inside it's red and the uh stripes are painted on same thing's true for the real deal uh just the material differences the material differences let's I'll show you a close-up of the material here from the inside color, including the tag with the uh, size label. You see it's kind of very much um, solid material and you see that the washing label is centered. Back to the real deal. It's a much more mesh-like fabric and the label is off-center. Here it is also in silver, here it is in white. So uh, slight differences. Uh, the material of the color, very much the same. However, the color on the real deal is a little bit thinner and a little bit more ribbed. 
but it's almost not rec recognizable. I also recognize now that I have them next to each other. Notice the red counterfeit, real deal. The real deal has a slightly darker red tone. So this is the real deal has a slightly darker red tone. So very, very tiny. The other big giveaway before we look at the tags is um, on the back side of the replica is of course the little devil logo. This one is missing here. There is no devil logo. And I, ha I gotta say, it took me a while to realize that the devil was missing. I knew that from the fabric, uh, I had the instant feeling this is not the right, uh, uh, the right thing. However, I really, I really, 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 really have to say that all the seams in here are really well made. This is a well made jersey. This is not a, this, this is really not a cheap knockoff. It's a really, uh, well made jersey. But it's just not right. I mean, if I look at the logos, the Puma logos, look at the Puma cats on the fake one. They are stitched on, they are solid, and they are maybe a tad thicker than, no, not, no, 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 not really feeling it. These are the real ones. It's all fine. Absolutely all fine. Um, it even goes down to the markings on the bottom of the shirt. Here is the tag for the authentic product for the fake. And here's the same mark for the replica jersey, the real deal. Uh, did you notice a difference? It is hard to notice, but the font is slightly different. <laughs> That's the only thing. They are the exact same size. Um, again, the one from Puma, the real one is a slightly more shiny. So you see the from FFF, this is the replica, this is the fake, but very little differences. Let's go to the dry cell part of the whole shirt. That is a little bit more ob obvious, but you need to have seen it. The dry cell writing is bigger on the fake jersey, noticeably bigger. But um, who would be able to tell that? Now I note another difference. Note how I said the seams are well made. Note on the Puma jersey, the seams are made with a red thread. Here, it's a black thread. Inside black thread. Um, take your pick, which one you like better. I personally actually do like maybe the black one even a tad better, but you know, this is just so minor, minor differences. The inside tags, um, the other washing label, I mean, here it becomes the more, there's more or less the same material. Again, fake, here the real deal, uh, they are different. Here we have kind of two things, here we have two longish things. So very small. It would be interesting to see what the QR code will, will, will be doing. We have a QR code here. No, there's no QR code here. So uh, that's another giveaway. And speaking of tags, uh, this one came with tags attached, of course, as any good replica jersey comes. So here um, it has official Milan and it has dry, uh, dry cell tag, moisture wicking, all that kind of, uh, uh, too much glare from the, from the lamp, uh, moisture wicking material. It doesn't, it seems legitimate. Now oh, you I have to go like this. <laughs> it seems legitimate, but it just is not quite right. Uh, the real thing is, and also the tag, oh, it's actually, it's attached onto the collar on the inside to the to the left which is the same here you just get a little bit more you get the code here that is dry cell 
then you get Milan and then you get regular fit. Who knows? If you look at this one here, I put it here on one shoulder, put the fake on the other shoulder. You tell me. Would you be able to tell? I actually, uh, except for the devil, I don't think you would be able to tell. I actually compared the width of the striping and the fake one is about um, two millimeters, one millimeter, two millimeter wider. Look at it. It's minimal. It is scary how good these are. I have to say, uh, we are getting at a point where except for all the material, the, the counterfeits are very much comparable. Yes, it is not the athletic material that the real deal is. This is slighter, this is a heavier jersey. But overall, uh, I hate to say it, it's not bad at all. Now that I made the video for it, I had I have been trying to sell this one, almost sold it already twice. Um, but the last minute pulled back because I knew I wanted to make this video to show the differences between those two jerseys because it's so staggering how close they are. Um, I pulled it up on eBay, link below if you want to get this one. I'm giving it a pretty good price, so let me know if you're interested. If you're a subscriber to my channel, I might knock another... 25% off just for you uh, if you want to have it. Um, it's a gorgeous jersey. It's just a fake one. But down the logo is a good. It's just I need to have the right the right things to have on mine. Um, I made a similar video with a Nigeria jersey that I got fooled with uh, last uh, this year where it's lot more obvious once you look for the right things. This Milan jersey, it didn't have me fooled for long when I held it. It had me fooled all along when I looked at it online. I checked every little detail, making sure and yeah, you need to hold it in your hand and no, yeah, you have to ask for those little details. Uh, is there a devil on the back? All those things. So my tip when buying, um, look at all the photographs closely ask the seller and i know i have i'm guilty of that ask a seller for all those little details that might tell um a jersey you can get authentic jerseys maybe not new ones but you can get authentic jerseys for really cheap just not all all, all the time i mean this year i've been really doing well i bought i think surely around 40 jerseys and I only got two counterfeits. And most of them were in the same price range. So uh, watch out. This was not eBay. This was actually this private, uh, this uh, flea market page uh, in Austria where you should notify that it is not a real product. Um, I fell into the trap. Mea culpa. I'm just glad this guy had two. He wanted to sell me both um, for the for additional knockoff price. I was even thinking about that uh, and then I said, no, I'm not gonna do it. So yeah, um, I feel stupid for getting it. You see how close these jerseys are. Um, if you hunt for cheap, be careful out there, ask for as many details as possible. However, on the bright side, at least for me, is I could get a nice video. I didn't want to expose uh, how good they are. Um, Maybe there's a hope that some many manufacturers will actually eventually decrease the prices on replica jerseys because, um, to be honest, we all know that these jerseys are not that expensive. They're made expensive because you slap this on, you slap this on. Other than that, nope. You can get this probably for 15 euros without logos. I mean, Adidas, especially the model Adidas jerseys are a prime example for that. Anyway, let me know if this was helpful to you. Uh, drop a comment below what you think, how close they are. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I said it's scary. It's scary good. It's scary how close um, counterfeiters are getting to the real deal. And yeah, thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye.